So hey guys, so today I got a quick video of just a few updates that I've been working on with my uh, phone system. And uh, there's a few new things and I've been at it for the past 9 hours. More like 12 hours, whatever. We're going to begin over here by the desk. And as we look at the 7970, um, there's some few things that are different. Before I get into that though, before that, I um, actually joined NPSTN, so... Uh, that is now a trunk of my system, and you can reach me at the uh, number that if, if you find me on the directory or white pages, or you'll just look at my phone when I dial it. But uh, yeah, so if I go to speaker, I'm gonna lower that. And if I enter the trunk, and I can do the temperature line. The temperature is 33 degrees. Pit. So uh, yes, it is functional I can receive calls and whatnot yada yada so uh, yes I did join that and everything seems to be working fine with that all right so now for the real deal and what's been going on here so I actually this phone is actually running SCCP instead of SIP if I go down to status firmware versions you can see SCCP so uh, yes I am running SCCP on these phones so what I did to my free PBX server um, using, I believe, Nathan Morgan's tutorial or uh, Google Docs. Go check out his channel. He does a lot of phone stuff, too. I highly recommend him. Um, I followed that document uh, yesterday. Spent another 12 hours on it because my system is made of hot garbage. And, uh, yes, I managed to scrap together the Chan SCCP module, and I can run SCCP phones or run the um, firmware. And uh, yes, that means all these soft keys work. Everything functions like it's supposed to. Um, BLF keys work. That's what these little weird things are. And uh, yeah, I just have to do some minor edits to the time, which might have actually just corrected itself. And uh, the line keys. Uh, but other than that, everything seems to be working fine. Except for paging. That I have to figure out why, or with auto-answering because these phones don't want to order, uh, auto answer and I can't just edit a uh, config file like I used to be able to on SIP. But uh, yeah, so just some quick things before I get started. I'm just gonna show you off some uh, some of these um, soft keys. So call forwarding, I can call forward a 204, which is the phone next to me. And it will now say call forward all from this extension to that phone over there. And I could just press it again and it'll flip over. Now it's actually cool is if I do that again, you can actually see a little animation up at the top. You know, showing that it's um, call forwarding. Press it again, it goes away. And uh, yeah, call forward no answer. Basically it forwards the call to the extension if you uh, don't answer it, or if it, you know, goes almost goes to voicemail. Pick up, I have to figure out, do not disturb. I can have it on do not disturb busy, which means that um, if you call this extension, then it would just, you know, play busy tone. Or I could do busy, or do not disturb silent, which I'm gonna test because I've never tested it before. So I'm gonna dial 110. Okay, so basically it just, you know, mutes the ringtone. And then private is actually really cool. If you do private and then you, you know, dial the number, it would um, come up as caller ID anonymous caller. Let me just take off the do not disturb. So yeah, those are the base home key or base soft keys. Moving forward, if I, you know, we could do um, the on call. Now what I don't like about this is that it's sometimes like it lags. Like I could pick up the phone, nothing would happen for a few seconds. I believe that is my server's fault, um, but I'm not sure if it's the firmware or my server because I really have to upgrade my uh, server hardware that's hosting the free PBX. I was working on it and then it just kind of blew up in my face. So that's for another day. But uh, yeah, so if I were to pick up the uh, 204. Now what I like is that it actually finds the extension name instead of just saying to this number on SIP. So currently this phone is ringing. I'm gonna take it off the hook. And here we have a few other options. So we have hold, like normal, and call transfer conference. We have park, select, 
direct transfer record and call forward all so there's a few things I'm going to do here so conference if I had another caller in here well since that just glitched out yeah you can tell that there's quite a few bugs in the um, module and whatnot that you know I have to attend to or fix so one phone restart later and if you know the uh, 7900 series they take forever let's see if it'll do what I'm talking about yep no, no okay whatever but uh, yeah so I'm gonna dial oops to a four again answer that and uh yeah so that was conference parking will automatically throw it into the free pbx parking lot which is 71 so i hang this up and uh 71 again it would connect me to that extension and it switches back over to the right color id transfers transfer record doesn't do anything and that's it <laughs> So yeah, so I'm going to head over to the other room and show you some other phones. So in here is just a massive mess, so uh, I'm sorry about that. Here's the uh, hot pile of garbage that's running free PBX um, with the solid 560 megabytes of RAM. We do nothing but the best here. So that's probably why my system is struggling, but it still functions. Um, I'm hoping, I want to upgrade to this desktop, um, but it's just, you know, fighting me. Anyways, here is a 79, uh, 7941, my bad. Um, this is probably going to go into my room at some point. I don't know, that's why it's named Nick's room. But um, yes, this used to be in my office, or my family's um, office. But uh, you'll see what phone is going in there in about a few seconds. But yeah, same features here. It's just, you know, 7941 and it still functions like normal. Up on top of this PC, I have a Cisco 6961. This is the phone that is going into the office. Why you might ask is because it has the 12 line keys. Yet again, it doesn't show it in the model make thing like I was talking about earlier for the um, 79, or six, yeah, 6961. But uh, I, for now, have just six lines in it. So it's, I guess it's okay. So, yeah, the LCD is off, so if I off hook you could see I have the SCCP stuff um, you know forward all pick up and whatnot and uh, I f yeah <laughs> I also added the BLF key so what does that mean um, I don't have these labeled yet but uh, if I were to pick this up and dial just an extension and that is in a call you can see that this um, line LED is currently red. And, uh, you know, that means it's a um, speed dial and the extension's in use. So if I hang this up, that LED just goes out. And also, if this phone is ringing, so I'm going to hop over here, dial, uh, what number is that? 105. We have this phone ringing. And you can see an orange LED blinking on this phone. So now the cool thing is that it also says the color ID down here, if you didn't notice. As well as that it does the um, newer Cisco ring, I believe. Instead, just, you know, the um, this ringtone. I happen to use it preferences. Instead of just doing the normal chirp. It plays it in like two bursts. Yeah, I'll do it again. I believe it was this key. Yep. But yeah, I can answer. answer. You, can you can see, see that, that um, the BLF, BLF key is lit up and, and the line key is lit up. up. And, and we are currently in a call. See the call ended and it just switched back. So yes, I can actually, you know, initiate yeah. I can initiate the call from um, the speed dial or I can just dial like normal. So I'm going to pick that up, pick up um, both lines, and we're gonna head back to this phone. 
and here you can actually see I have the two uh, monitor lines. I have the office. For some reason, it says pagers. Uh, it's not a pager. I have the office and my room, and you can see that my room is talking to the office pager and vice versa. And the LEDs are red, saying that there's a call in progress. And I can hang these up. And the lines go back to normal, like BLF keys. For some reason, like if a line is ringing, like if I were to ring the office, see how it's ringing right now, like the desk phone jack is ringing office pager. I can't pick it up for some reason, it just dials it too. So I'm gonna stop that because it's loud. But yeah, it doesn't allow you to pick up like the uh, Cisco Spa does, BLF keys. But yeah, coming back to this phone, um, if you didn't remember, I did get this, oh, I did get this the same time as I got that Cortelco, which was back in like the summer of last year. Um, I wasn't able to get this like, you know, configured and set up with SIP. I did manage to get it to work completely properly with SIP. It was just a bunch of uh, config file errors. So I managed to get this completely working with SIP and then I just recently switched it to SCCP or back to SCCP and registered again just to have some more features on, you know, more native features. All right, so it's currently a few days later after I recorded that last part. I'm um, working on this SC Chan SCCP a little bit more. And uh, yeah, so this is where I was able to get to. So I got basically how it was with SIP, but you know, the time is correct and uh, whatever. The only thing I can't fix is just the uh, line key names for some reason. I also got uh, paging functional too. Um, that was fun. So basically with this paging now, it works all on the one line. I don't have to do a second line with auto answer. So uh, for a quick demo, pick up this phone, 676. And you can see that, um, it's hard to hear, but uh, yeah, this yeah, this is currently paging. And it's on the uh, first line. And you can see the um, second lines, or the, um, 7970 is also on paging. And uh, here, let me just up the volume. Uh, yeah, you can uh, hear the pages going through here too. And you can see the other phones picked up. So yes, paging functions just fine. Um, I have to work on the intercom feature where I can just dial this phone and it would just auto answer two way. So that's the one thing that doesn't function. But other than that, um, everything seems to be working fine. The times are correct and the dates are correct as well. And same here, times are correct and lines keys I gotta fix still. So that's all for today. I'll see y'all next time.